talking about observations further um the bit about how arya is standing in the locker room speaking on the phone um naked which is the norm uh, across um which is the norm in many western countries um i'm going to tell you a little story about that um i went to my i went to claridge's suraj kund with my father at when i was i believe 12 or 13 when inside the sauna uh, obviously my father was not going to expose himself to me because that would be a bit weird but i saw a lot of old men with dicks and i was um, surprised for the lack of a better word and then when i went to college at boston we used to sneak inside the faculty locker locker room because it had the sauna lo and behold again all kinds of dicks you know like uh, long shrivel dicks and i wasn't so surprised anymore but it just i couldn't help but think about some of the other gym khanas that i've been to where uh every man i see has this thing where they'll have the wet uh um, boxers or underwear and they'll wear a towel around and they'll take it out slightly from 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 the inside and then uh, what i'm basically trying to say is they always have underwears on inside the male locker room in india in always and and to the point where i even know some people who privately in their own showers still shower with the underwear on and it's a very weird phenomenon there's just something about may, maybe we don't have a locker room culture in the country where you know like as athletes as male athletes you go in like you you know just are completely naked which is why there's such a shyness around it so um the act of arya standing in a locker room talking um on the phone uh scares these kids and they take videos and the women are like my god like you should not do that now is is that something again that yeah yeah, yeah. it is like i i i've noticed there are two kinds of men in uh, i was a member of the golf club hmm. you know, in, um in gurgaon and also koram and i noticed that uh, though this this trend emerges from my compassion by the mm. way uh the two kinds of men men who are uh, who are shy you know mm. and they would be in that underwear or shorts and men who uh, strut around naked mm. right so i do understand the walking bit in the sense that if you need to be naked like i saw it in amsterdam also they are the more aggressive mm. they they walk around naked throat and i all always knows ways you think there's no reason to walk okay mm. he, i mean he didn't fetch anything i would notice that right. he didn't have reason to but he wants to walk around and there's something about being naked in public for yeah. most men where it's a sense of liberation that uh, they kind of walk uh, a bit which i used to find very funny because <laughs> there's nothing that you're achieving by the walk because right. you're just pretending to but when you're stationary and you're naked because you need to change i have great compassion for that uh, need for men to uh, be com- be completely naked right. when you're changing clothes because this because towels have become very thick nowadays you know in, in expensive uh, yeah clubs there used to be a uh, very thin cloth exactly yeah. you know the thin cloth okay can be whipped out okay mm. like all our fathers have done with the lungi and yeah. you uh but with the thickening towel and there's some kind of a de- indian decorum that these guys have to maintain after it's extremely difficult to change uh your clothes you know while wearing a very thick towel you right. know so and i thought this is something which arya should take see some of the things on some of the things in uh, decoupled a uh, 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 campaigns that i want to continue with change you know right. like in an airport like why is the security guy standing at the airport okay and uh, uh, so there are three queues now okay yeah. for indians or no other country in the world you know has your soldier standing outside checking your air ticket you know yeah. my 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 sympathies are with the soldier too because hmm. you know I mean, not a soldier. In fact, that's what he takes on. He's part of the, you know, uh, part of technically part of the police force. But anyway, right. uh, why? How does he know this is a ticket? Why does he? Why does he want to check? It's like, what do you think you're up to? Okay, why did you come to the airport? And if it is, if it is to discourage people who are not passengers, but you know how Indians are so jobless. If one person is going, eight people will go with just to say bye. you can introduce platform tickets okay yeah, like, like you do in the railways. railways yes okay that's worked very well one fine of 50 bucks that's enough to scare indians okay 50 bucks over love right 
and if someone if you want to discourage people from leaving a bomb in the airport well boss he would book a ticket for that okay yeah. he's not going to you know not place the bomb because there'll be a security guy checking a ticket he can very well make a fake it's yeah. a completely irrational thing which indians like thousands and thousands of in every day we accept without questioning <laughs> challenging you know instead of you know I, that's why we have stamina for useless things yeah you know, we fight over useless things but this something which is wasted say roughly 50 hours of our adult life we don't say why why do you need it why, you know so if the couple can change that you know mm. i want i want to reach out to the aviation minister <laughs> i want to reach out to the not not the aviation minister but i, I want to change that right so let's see 